people before these grommets go on show all over Bristol. They've been stored in this secret warehouse in the city and we've been given special access to come inside. It's basically like some kind of comedy kennels. Just loads and loads of grommets. All the same size, all the same shape, but each one designed individually and uniquely by a different artist. Some of them very famous. Look, this one has been done by Axel Scheffler, the man who designed the Gruffalo for Julia Donaldson's books. This one has been covered in Dennis and Nasher by the team at the Beano comic. And in fact, it's appropriate because it was the Beano that inspired Nick Park, uh, the man who created Gromit, to go in to design an illustration himself. So that's a welcome addition, as is this one by Quentin Blake, the man who, of course, illustrated so many of Roald Dahl's books famously and his very distinctive designs there. I like this one here. Looks like it's had a bit of an accident. A kind of black paint has spilt all over it. This is by the artist Gerald Scarf, and this one has got blue eyes, which kind of throws you a bit because you're not used to seeing Gromit with blue eyes. He's also covered in grass, appropriately by the garden designer Dermot Gavin. And this one here, I love. This is a, a sort of Elvis, quiff covered Gromit by the pop artist. Peter Blake, the man behind Sergeant Peppers, and look, he's written on the side, nothing but a hound dog. Talking of pop, a modern day pop star who's painted one, look, this one has been done by Zayn Malik of One Direction. We think of him as a performer, but he's also a keen artist as well. This grommet has been turned into Buzz Lightyear, designed by the team at Pixar Animation and flown over from Hollywood 10,000 miles. Uh, there's one by the British designer, Kath Kidston. And this one is a musical grommet created by Jules Holland. It's not just this room that's full of grommets. There's another room that's full of grommets as well. Uh, this one is covered in thousands of metal nuts. So it looks rather glamorous, doesn't it, as well as well protected, but it might need a spray before it goes out in the rain in Bristol this summer. Look, this one is by Joanna Lumley. She's written poetry on that uh, she remembers from when she was a child. A bright pink bald grommet, appropriately enough, designed and painted by Harry Hill, the comedian, bald comedian. This one here, uh, we can't show you. We don't know quite what's happened, but that one apparently is not going on public display. Look, every type of grommet you can possibly imagine, and all 80 of them are going to go on display from the 1st of July all over Bristol. The idea is that people try and find them, they make a note of them, it's like a sort of grommet version of I Spy, and then at the end of the summer they'll all be auctioned to raise money for the local Bristol Children's Hospital.